Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're working back on the 52 Chevy truck and I know I mentioned in the previous video that we're going to be painting the floor but before we get to painting the floor we actually have to get the brake pedal and the clutch pedal installed into the truck and by that I mean I need to drill holes in the floor and if I have to do any more welding along the outside firewall I need to get that done before we paint. So I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to show you what we have to do to get these installed. So let's do it right now. So right now, the brake pedal and the clutch pedal need to have holes drilled in the firewall, right here in the lower kick panel of the firewall. And to do that, the master cylinder on the clutch are right down here. But this bright yellow thing is here. So I need to figure out and mount the pedals onto here and then mark along the kick panel here where we need to drill holes. Now I want to make them as small as possible because you don't want a lot of hot air blowing up through at your feet. So I'm gonna make these holes as small as possible to hopefully get those wormed up inside here nice and neat. Maybe just cut little slits that'll go in and out. I don't want them to rub, but I want them to be really tight too. So we need to do that. And also there's this lip along the bottom of the kick panel here. I need to cut off, weld all the way along here. And then we're gonna smooth it all out with the flap wheel because we don't wanna be doing any welding back down in here. Once we do paint the floor in the trucks, it'll just, you know, the paint will peel off if you weld on it and get a lot of excessive heat on it. So I'm gonna prevent that as much as possible right now just by cleaning up this outside ledge right here. Get that all smoothed out get these two holes cut right there for the brake pedal that's what we're gonna work on in this video right now so first thing we we'll do is we're probably gonna cut cut that ledge out of there get that all smoothed out get that finished up so I'm gonna try to use the cutoff wheel right in here and just cut it off a lot of this overhang so it's less grinding I have to do we'll see how easy I can get in there I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get in there with this but we're gonna try if not we'll just hit it with the grinder and just grind it right down to a splush with this we go might not even need to weld it along there might just grind it down smooth and call it a day it's already been fully welded on the inside that's about as far as I'm going with the cutoff wheel I'm just gonna grind this all smooth the flap wheel right here we're gonna call that good probably just do a little coat of a uh, fiberglass filler right along the edge there and Smooth this all out nice. Feels really good. It's gonna continue on. So right here we've got this lip all ground off right along here. This all comes down nice and smooth, right smooths right around the bottom here, all the way down, about halfway down the firewall right now. So I've got to continue cleaning this, this edge up all the way down. I don't think I really need to weld it as it's fully welded on the inside really well. Do I need to weld this on the outside then ground it back down again or do you think it's good enough? So comment down below and let me know what you think. So I've got to finish cleaning up this section right there and then the whole kick panel will be ground smooth. Then we're gonna work on putting in the brake pedal and clutch pedal right around this section here. But they'll have to hook up down there. We'll swing them up to here and mark on the kick panel here where we need to drill the holes and then we'll figure it out from there. Right, I'm switching over to the actual grinding wheel to try to get off the lip a little bit faster. If I can get that off faster, then we'll get moving on. I'm just gonna get the majority off it with the actual grinding wheel, then we'll go back with the flap disc. See if I can reach in here with this. Try to switch back over the flap, we'll see if it's any faster. But this is brutal. Well, it's almost done. It's getting there. Passenger side's done, driver side's done. I just need to focus on the very center, which is not the easiest to get to, I'll be honest. So I got this all cleaned up along the bottom edge of the kick panel to the actual floor of the truck. All really nice and smoothed out. So now we're going to start focusing on the actual brake and clutch pedal right now. So I need to get the brake and clutch pedal assembly actually bolted to the frame nice and tight. It's just loose right now. I'm going to get that bolted up and then we're going to slide on the brake pedals and the clutch pedals. So right now I've got three bolts holding this on, but they're really loose. I will have four bolts eventually. I just want to get three of them tightened up right now. So we'll know this will be in the right position. So let me grab some wrenches. I believe this is a 9 16th and we will get this fully installed. Alrighty, that thing's rock solid right where we want it. Now we need to take this center bar out. 
that. And the threads on this thing look horrible. I'm worried that this might have been stripped off inside there, but we'll see. So the first thing is on the actual brake pedal here. We're gonna take these pads off. Get those out of the way. We don't need those on the, the actual levers right now. Take those off, set those aside. And this comes in here like a this. Come on, there we go. There we go. Go in. There we go. Okay. There we go. Whew. Right now I've got the brake pedal and the clutch pedal more or less where I want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift one up, trace it out right around here, and I know exactly where it's gonna go, just like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. That, there's the center. All right, it's going. Like that, I think that's where those are gonna go. I need to make a couple slots here. I don't want them too big, but I don't want them too, I can always make them bigger. So say we drill four holes in each corner here. Go on the inside, we'll cut them out. So I'm gonna take these pedals off right now so we can get in here a little easier. Do that, we gotta disconnect this bolt again. So right here we've gotta cut this rectangle out and we gotta cut this rectangle out right there. So I'm gonna drill a hole on each corner and then we'll be able to go inside the truck, reconnect those lines again and cut it out from the inside. So it'll be a lot easier to work from the inside than working on the outside here. Okay, so we have all four corners drilled. Now I should be able to come inside the cab and see exactly where these pedals are gonna be. And I do think that'll be pretty good. So now I'm gonna flap wheel down the inside here because I have some burrs. I'm gonna draw the squares out in here. So let's bring you inside the cab right now. So right here, there's four holes. Four holes here, four holes here. We're just gonna draw our lines, just like we did on the outside. So I'm gonna probably, I don't know, maybe use a Dremel and try to cut these out. Maybe? Maybe. If there's a Dremel with a cutoff wheel, I should be able to get in there. We'll try that first and see how that goes. Just using the little cutoff wheels on the Dremel to hopefully get in there and cut that out. So we'll see how that goes. There we go. So now I can take the half inch belt sander, get it in here and really true these up. Two holes cut out for the brake pedal here and the clutch right here. So I'm gonna bring you around to the other side. We're gonna work on poking those back through the floor here and getting them into place. So we'll see how they actually fit. We're just gonna test fit this through now. And to get this through, what I think we're gonna do, these aren't just gonna go through like this. So they're gonna have to come apart on this axis of this pivot piece here. Those come apart like this. There's like a little rod that goes through. What we'll do is we'll kind of do one of these things. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Like that. And that'll go like that. And then we'll do the exact same thing for the other side. Take this and we'll feed it back through the center of them, joining the two pieces back together again. And these get bolted up in there like this. 
and we'll be able to fine tune these to where we need them. We can make the holes bigger if we want. Probably end up having to do that, but just trying to keep the holes as small as possible for now. But the trick is getting this back through like that. Look at that. In theory, these would be like that. All right, so we just got the pedals put into the truck and I need to move the truck over away from the side of the garage wall. So I have a little more room to work and get you over there so you can actually see what we're doing. I need to finish well the floor of the truck and on the outside, get that ground nice and smooth like we did on the driver's side. That way there will be no more welding required after we paint the entire floor coming up in the next video. So right now I'm just gonna move the truck over so we can get on that side. All right, so we got that moved over now. So right now I'm gonna bring you over on the other side and show you what we need to weld up for the floor. So right here we're on the passenger side of the truck and we've got this lip coming right down along here still. So what we wanna do is I need to cut this off so it's kind of flush with the inner panel here. We're gonna weld all the way along here on the outside, all the way up here, and just gonna smooth this all back out again. Once that's done, we can actually paint the inside, but right now I wanna make sure this gets all finished up nice and neat, just like we did on the driver's side. Let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna cut this as close as I can get it into here so it's a lot less grinding to do later. I have to cut this off from the back side, probably coming from the top side right down here. Let's do it. All right, I've got this all trimmed up right now. So I'm just gonna break the welder out, lay down a nice bead right along here, along the entire way. Try not to warp this panel as much as possible. So I'm just gonna be careful bouncing around with the heat, get that welded in. That nicely welded down. Just gotta do a little touch up in this section up here now. I got a section here from the inner frame that needs to weld onto the inner panel here. So I'm gonna get the torch out and we're gonna heat this up a little bit. I'm just gonna tap it in a little. Hopefully not distort anything else. Ooh, ah. So this inner part here needs to tap in a little bit just to get close to the inner uh, panel that I made. I'm just gonna throw some tacks along here. We'll use seam sealer all along the way to make sure it's nicely sealed up, but I just wanna get it close and to get a couple tacks on it. That's pretty good. So stuff out of here. We're gonna just throw a couple tacks all the way in along here just to make sure that's gonna stay good. This section right here is gonna get patched. Probably end up cutting out the rotted part, sliding in a piece of metal behind it because we do want to keep this lip that runs all the way down along here. We're gonna keep that lip but I'll be able to cut the rod out because it's right at the lip, so that'll work out fine. And I'll just have to grind down that lip, make it nice and smooth. This is coming out okay. I wouldn't uh, write home about it, but it'll work. So let's break out the grinder and just start grinding this stuff smooth here, just to see where we might need to touch things up. All right, so right now, I'm just gonna touch up a couple of the spots along here, primarily here, a couple spots down along here, maybe up here a little bit, smooth it back out. We'll be done. Let me turn the welder back on. Disappear. 
All right, so we almost had a catastrophic failure with the camera falling off the tripod. I caught it, but it whacked the truck up here right on the corner when it tipped over on the tripod. Anywho, this section here has been completely welded up, ground down, smoothed out, nicey nice, as you can see there. Down here, there's a hole right there we gotta patch up later. Not a big deal right now. The inner support has been kind of just tacked into the inner panel on the truck here. There's a little bit of warpage going on in this panel. Not a big deal. It's gonna get rubber undercoated all the way in here. It's all nice and smooth all the way around the front of the firewall down the kick panel here to the floor. I just don't want to be welding too much on here after we paint the floor in the truck. So this is all done right now. So we're going to move on to the inside. I'm going to show you what we did there. We're going to wrap this video up. All right, so looking in the cab, we've got the brake pedal and the clutch pedal perfectly lined up, squared up with the holes. These things actually function really nicely. They don't rub at all. It's just a matter of we'll have to fine tune the actual clutch pedal and the brake pedal. Once we fine tune and get fluid in there and we figure out how long do these actually have to be. Over there you can see our weld marks. We have to do a little bit of grinding around there just to smooth that out. But everything else is perfectly ready to go for painting other than doing a little bit of vacuuming in here which I'm sure you don't really want to watch me do. We also have these pads that have a little screw on the back side. These just go on here just like this and these just screw right on. So that's what that's gonna look like. And we've got one for the brake side as well, which goes just like this. So there's our brake and a clutch pedal fully installed, but we're gonna take the pads off, then we're gonna take the brake arm and the clutch arm back off when we're painting. That's just what it looks like right now with the brake pedal and the clutch pedal poking through the floor. Everything's cleaned up over on that side. So we are ready to go for next week's video. Right, everyone that's gonna be wrap for this video as you can see we got the firewall in the kick panel all completely cleared up along the floor cut off ground smooth on the outside of the firewall the inside of the firewall is pretty much ground smooth we we're able to get the brake pedal and the clutch pedal poked up through the actual kick panel on the firewall so those are actually perfect ready to go we got the passenger side floor welded in place on the outside nicely smoothed out it's taken a lot of time to get to this point where i thought i was gonna be painting the floor of the cab a lot sooner but there's a lot of little things here and there that had to get done in this video to prepare for next week's video so coming up in next week's video we're going to actually degrease the entire inside of the cab we're going to metal etch all of the floor and then we're going to put a layer of por 15 over the entire floor of the cab so as always if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up smash that big red subscribe button smash that notification icon down below so you know when i do post future videos and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching